energetic vinyasa today, so you know what you signed up for. Get ready. We're going to be really focusing on opening up our chest and our shoulders today, working on that shoulder mobility, also working into those wrists a little bit. And we're going to be working towards a peak pose of dancer's pose. Do not worry if you do not know what that is. As always, I'll explain you all the way through and completely guide you. So if you could grab a block, and also a strap would be helpful as well whilst we're working towards stances, unless you know that you can take hold of that leg really easily. A block can be probably replaced for a kitchen roll today, as always my suggestion. Um, but if not, if you don't have anything, do not worry. Okay, let's get to it. We're going to start lying down. Bring your block with you. And we're going to be a reclined butterfly with this block lengthways in between our shoulder blades. So set it up. What you might want to do as well, if you do have a second block or a big cushion or something, you might want to put it behind you so that your head can rest on it. So lower yourself down. And you're just going to have to wiggle a bit to get this block right in between. And then if you want to put your head onto the other block, absolutely do so. Or you might feel comfortable with your head just hanging. Okay, as soon as you get comfortable, come into that reclined butterfly. If this just isn't comfortable for you at all, you can't find a comfortable position, just come into your reclined butterfly, that's absolutely fine. If you're here, raised onto the blocks, just allow the shoulders to drop down, your chest pulling through, close down the eyes. Still feeling that breath, inhaling and exhaling nice and calmly. And try to release any hold that you're trying to control in the upper body and just really allow yourself to hang. You might even need to think about releasing the glutes. Start to set an intention today that you are going to bring this energy to the practice and give it 100%. It's half an hour over before you even thought about it. Just allowing those fingers to curl up naturally and the knees to fall further out to the sides. Take three more rounds of breath here. Really thinking about that inhale, bringing in all of the energy that you need. And exhaling any energy that just isn't serving you. And once you come to the end of that final exhale, super, super slowly roll over to the side, bringing the knees in together. Tuck the chin into the chest and then just remove those blocks, just place them to the side. We're going to still need one in a minute. Coming back onto your backs, feet as far out to the sides of the mat and then knock the knees in. Place the hands wherever is comfortable. And just allowing yourself to feel grounded here again. Okay, starting to bring the movement in, maybe opening your eyes, hugging the knees into the chest. And we're going to rock and roll up through to our all fours, 
Maybe you roll over your foot to the side. Through your all fours. Coming into some wrist stretches, working that wrist mobility. So making sure the fingers are spread really widely or grounding the thumbs onto the floor. Start to take those rotations around in one direction. Still pushing that mat away. Maybe that core is slightly engaged to help you feel stronger in this all fours. And the other way. Still breathing. Really nice. Taking the fingers so they're now facing backwards, the thumbs are facing outwards. So really stretching down the fronts of those wrists. And then we're just going to start to take our weight slowly back so you can really feel it stretching. Try to keep the palms on the ground, the heels of the hands on the ground. And then come back up. Taking the weight back again. Just do this five times. If it is comfortable to take the heels of the hands off, absolutely do so. Okay, one more for me. And then get ready to grab that block again. Okay, coming back around to the centre, maybe you just want to shake out those wrists really gently. Grabbing your block, we're going to come into some tricep extensions with our blocks. If you don't have blocks, just put your hands together. So hands onto the shorter sides of the block, straight up to the sky. What you really want to think about here is not sticking the ribs out. If you stick the ribs out, it's a real clear sign that the thoracic spine, so this upper spine, and your shoulders aren't open enough, they're not mobile enough. So maybe your hands are just to the sky, but the biceps are slightly in front of the ears because that is where your mobility is, and that is fine, and you can still think about the hands driving backwards as you start to pull these shoulders open, but really don't use this to compensate the lack of mobility. If you're okay with the arms up, with the ribcage tucked in, we're going to do these tricep extensions, so dropping the hands down to the top of the back, Keeping the elbows high, as far down with that block as you can go without compensating. And then hands back up. A really great way to start to open up the chest and the spine and the shoulders. Keeping the elbows hugging in, keeping that energy drawing through the blocks. Especially if you're working into any forearm balances, you really need to be able to have the elbows straight over the shoulders, but being able to contain the ribcage at the same time. Okay, do three more. Okay, taking that block down, we don't need those anymore. Final stretch before we come into our flow, coming into our planter stretch, which I know is everybody's favorite. So tucking these toes completely under, knees together, feet together, spreading these toes out, sitting all the way back. And at the same time, we're going to come into our cow face arms. So we're taking our hands, our left hand to start with is under, and our right arm is over again. No flaring of the ribs, really keep them contained. This is where a strap could come in handy. So if your hands are really far away from one another, you can always hold onto the strap. Really think about this right elbow, the top elbow drawing away from the face. And breathing here. Really trying to concentrate on what the arms are doing rather than the feet. Keep drawing that elbow up and away. Three, two, and one. Switch over to the other side nice and slowly. Right arm under this time. Left hand over. Trying to grip onto those hands without flaring the ribs. Thinking about the left rib cage up and back. Really try to focus on the arms rather than the feet. My feet are starting to tingle. Three, 
two, and one, really nice, release all the way down, coming forward, just wiggling those toes, move you back to them on the mat just to break that foot off back into them, really, really nice, okay, tuck the toes again, big inhale, exhale, all the way back down, the dog, energy driving from the mat through the arms, through the tailbone, all those cues that I keep telling you, elves of the fingers, grounding in, pushing the mat away, externally rotating those shoulders, tailbone high, belly button in, not flaring the ribs, neck nice and relaxed, heels off, knees bent if necessary, that's absolutely fine, breathing here, really expansive breath. Next, inhale, bring the right leg all the way forward into your low lunge, knee up or knee down, wherever you want to go. Breathing here. Thinking about these hips, are they level? Coming into your lizard lunge, walking that right foot to the outside of the mat, both hands in, again, knee up or knee down, making sure the knee is towards that bicep. Maybe you come down to the forearms. Really feeling that stretch through the inner groin and that hamstring. Knee down, untuck those toes. Coming onto the outside of the right foot, knee falling out. Maybe this is where you stay. Or you flex the left toes again. Bring the right hand up and over. And this flex left foot drives towards the bum. Flexing the foot allows that hamstring to lengthen the row member. Keep drawing it in and away. Keep reaching the right hand back. Do this three more times. If it's uncomfortable on your knee, just check. Are you on the front of your knee, like just above the knee on that thigh, or are you right on your knee? Because if you're right on your kneecap, that will be uncomfortable. Okay, then come to stillness. If you can, grab that foot, draw it in towards your bum in this corkscrew. Keep the chest nice and open. Again, if you do have that strap, this could be super helpful for you if you do want to try to come towards this full expression. Three, two, and one. Release all the way down, hands down, stepping the right foot straight back into your downward dog. Breathing here. Next, inhale, left leg all the way through into your low lunge. Really trying to keep this chest nice and open. Into your lizard lunge, left foot to the outside, both hands inside. Maybe you're down on the forearms, maybe your knee is down, that's absolutely fine. Coming down to the right knee, untuck those toes to the outside edge of that left foot, allow that knee to hang. Flex the right foot again, bring the left hand up and over, at the same time bring that right foot in and lengthen. Try to bring it in, really activating those hamstrings. Think about being just on the top of that kneecap, so by your thigh rather than right on the top of it. Okay, if you can grab hold of that foot, start to bring it towards the glutes, spinning that chest open still. Keep pushing the mat away. Exhale, fully release. Hands to the front, bring the right foot to the front of the mat. Take the left foot to meet the right forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, roll all the way up to standing. Inhale, chair pose, hands up, sink down. Make sure the thighs are active, your chest isn't puffing out. And you're really drawing the shoulder blades together. Check that you can see your toes. Sink down a little bit more. Step straight back into your warrior one. Make sure the hips are square to the front. 
working both legs so much externally rotating those thighs grounding that outside edge of that back foot down exhale hands interlace behind you big inhale draw the knuckles down pull the chest through next exhale humble warrior spill all the way over that front foot Go all the way over that front leg, knuckles up and over, down to the front of the mat, hanging that head, continuing to activate those legs. Make sure that back leg is doing as much as the front. Keep drawing the knuckles down. Next, inhale, hands come back to the lower back. Uninterlace those hands straight down on the ground, coming into a side plank, so planting the right hand down a lot, and then picking up the left leg straight back into your side plank, left hand up to the sky. Maybe you stay here or you come into your wild thing, left foot behind, and then reaching the left hand behind you, chest lifting up to the sky, making sure that that wrist and shoulder of the right hand are in line. Exhale, coming all the way through, trying to pick up the left leg and bring it all the way through to the front of the mat in one big movement. Hands all the way up into your high lunge. Breathing here. Exhale, next inhale, right foot to meet the left into your chair pose. Three, two, and one. All the way up, really nice, other side. Inhale, drop down, chair pose. Make sure that your ribs are contained. Exhale, step straight back, warrior one. Hips square to the front. Exhale, hands interlace behind you. Big inhale, drop the knuckles, pull the heart through. Exhale, fold over the front leg. Knuckles up and over. Make sure both legs are still doing as much work as the other one. Breathing here. Next, inhale, knuckles to the lower back. Uninterlace those hands, preparing for that side plank, planting the left hand down, picking the right foot up, right hand up. Stay here or coming into your wild thing, right foot behind, right hand up and over, reaching towards the ground, chest reaching up. Exhale, picking up the right leg. See if you can bring it all the way forward in one movement. Inhale, high lunge. Exhale. Inhale, step the left foot forward into your chair. Inhale, all the way up, really nice. And again, big inhale, drop down, chair pose. Exhale, warrior one. Next, exhale, take the hands behind you. Inhale, reach the heart through. Exhale, humble warrior. Staying here, keep those breaths nice and calm. Inhale, knuckles to the lower back. Uninterlace those hands, really grounding the right hand, coming into your side plank again. Reaching the left hand high. Maybe you try a wild thing this time, taking the left foot behind, left hand up towards the ground, chest reaching high. Big inhale, try to bring the left foot all the way forward, setting up for your high lunge, hands high. Inhale and exhale. Next inhale forward to your chair pose just for a breath. Exhale all the way up, really nice. Next, inhale, drop down, chair pose. Exhale, step straight back, left foot back, warrior. Inhale here. Exhale, interlace the hands behind you. Inhale, draw the knuckles down, chest pulls through. Exhale, spill all the way forward into your humble warrior. Hands go up and over to the front. Next, exhale, take the hands down to the lower back. 
and interlace those hands, place the left hand down really strong, setting up for your side plank, right hand high, maybe you come into your wild thing, right leg behind you, right arm reaching towards the sky, pull the shoulder blades together. Next inhale, bring that right foot all the way forward into your high lunge. Breathing here, exhale. Next inhale, chair pose. And all the way to standing, really nice, one more time. Inhale, sink down, chair pose. Step the right foot back into your warrior. Hands behind you, interlace. Inhale, heart pulls through, knuckles pull down. Exhale, spill all the way over the front leg. Breathing here. Exhale, hands back to the lower back. Hands planted on the ground. Step straight back into your side plank. Left hand high. Coming into your wild thing. Last time on this side, really reach the left hand behind you. And then inhale, pick up this left leg all the way forward into your high plank. Exhale. Inhale, chair pose. And all the way to standing, really nice. One more time. Inhale, chair pose, sink down. Exhale, left foot back, warrior one. Inhale, reach high. Exhale, interlace those hands behind you. Inhale, draw down. Exhale, humble warrior. Really feel both feet grounding. Knuckles drawing down in front of you. Hands back to the lower back. Plant those hands down, especially that left one. Pick up the right foot into your side plank. Wild thing, final wild thing. Reach that right hand behind you. And then next, inhale, right foot all the way to the front, into your high lunge. Exhale. Inhale, chair pose, final chair. Inhale, all the way to standing, really great. So if you're feeling nice and warm, I assume, maybe you grab your strap coming into our dancers, or you don't have to use a strap, that's absolutely fine. So if you have got your strap and you've got a strap with these D-rings, what you're going to do is you're going to put it all the way through the centre of the D-ring and then fold it back on itself so then you go in between both of them and then pull it back towards and then you can make this loop. If you can't do it, it really doesn't matter. And then you can then put it around that foot. You might want to tighten it up and you just pull the D-ring closer towards that foot. And that is how you can do it with this strap. And you'll do it exactly the same as everybody else. You'll be holding onto this strap, bending up the leg, and then bringing it towards your head. Okay. So we'll start with our right foot first. What we really want to think about whether you're using the strap or not is that the knees stay towards one another. Even when the knee gets pulled backwards, that the knee isn't suddenly going out to the side. So really think about it going back, hip square. We want to keep our shoulders as square as possible as well. There's a tendency, obviously, of, on the right side, if I'm explaining, that your shoulder's going to pull back and that's going to help this leg go higher. But as soon as you pull this right shoulder in, as you can see, my hand's pulling in. So that allows your leg to be higher, but we want our shoulders to be square. Okay, absolutely go to a wall, have a chair near you, whatever you need. Starting on our right side, so ground through the left foot, pick up the right foot, and really think about all of those toes grounding on the left side. We're going to take an inside grip, so our thumb is towards our big toe on the inside of our foot. If this is too much for your shoulder, absolutely you grip the outside, that is fine. 
Think about the knees drawing towards one another. Now we've done a lot of opening of this chest. So we are perfectly primed for this pose. We're going to take our left hand high. Inhale, reach the left hand high. And then on your exhale, without really tipping forward that much, start to draw the right foot into the right hand. And that is what starts to lift this thigh. Maybe you only can stay here by still keeping these hips square, keep, keeping the shoulders square. Maybe you can keep lifting. And if you want to, then start tipping forward. But it's really not essential. What's the thing to think about is really thinking about the shoulder opening and thinking about the thigh, the hip flex is really working. So they're going to be working with you're tipping forward or not. So maybe you fall out of it and you can come back into it, that is absolutely fine. Really draw the foot into the hand, hand into the foot. Making sure the left big toe is really grounding. Keeping the left arm as close to the ear as possible. Three, two, and one, all the way down, really, really good job. Okay, on to the other side, I'll face this way. Now, both sides can feel completely different, as always, as I'm always telling you, so just go with it. Okay, pick up the left foot, make sure you're gripping, if you're gripping the inside, the thumb is towards the big toe. Knees are hugging towards one another, making sure the right foot's standing, the big toe is really grounding into the mat. Right hand high. And then when you are ready, start to kick the left foot into the hand and that is what lifts you. Keeping the hips square, keeping this left shoulder as square to the right as possible. Breathing here. If you focus on one thing, ideally the thing that isn't moving, your drishti, that is going to help you also. Keep pushing the hand and foot into one another. That's going to keep you lifted. Three, two, and one. All the way down really slowly. Really, really great job. Okay, just going to come into a nice forward fold. Take the feet slightly far, further away from one another. Big inhale, hands up, gaze up. Exhale, bend the knees a lot. Come all the way down. Just a nice counter pose for our back, allowing that lower back all through the vertebrae to stretch out. Hang here in this rag doll. Maybe you sway from side to side. Really, really good job. Start to wiggle the feet towards one another again. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Step straight back into your high plank just for a second. Pushing straight back into your downward dog. Push the mat away. Keep breathing. Inhale, pick up your right foot, bring it all the way through, setting up for our pigeon. So bringing that right ankle towards the left wrist, right knee towards the right wrist, sinking the left foot all the way to the back so that you can get that left leg onto the ground, making sure the front of the foot and the front of the knee is on the ground. Blocks are helpful to put under this right hip as well. And if this is super uncomfortable for you, Come into your seated pigeon, so both feet facing forward, knees up, and then bring this right leg across so that the foot is flexed and the knee is to the outside of the left thigh. That is going to do the exact same job and might just feel a bit more accessible. Really think if you're in this full pigeon, really think about the left hip driving down to the ground as much as you're thinking about this right hip. Maybe you stay lifted or maybe you come all the way down. 
keeping that front foot flexed. Inhale slowly all the way up, really nice. Plant the hands really slowly, step straight back into your downward dog. Pedal those feet out. And when you're ready, bring the left leg all the way forward. Left ankle to the right wrist, left knee to the left wrist and sink down here. Again, you can take that seated pigeon. And just make sure that right leg, you've got the front of the foot flat down to the mat and the front of the knee flat down to the mat. Keeping the left foot flexed. Maybe you come all the way down. And keep thinking about the right hip drawing down to the ground as much as that left one. Inhale nice and slowly, plant the hands back, stepping back into our downward dog, left foot all the way back, pedaling out again really nice and slowly, just feeling these last minute stretches before we come down to lying on our backs. Come back into your still downward dog, inhale gaze forward, exhale bend the knees a lot. Step, hop or jump through to the front so you can sit all the way down. And then slowly make your way down to the ground, really nice. Hug those knees in. And then take both knees over to the left. Right hand to the right, gaze right. Nice, gentle supine twist. Inhale, slowly take the knees back up and over to the right. Left hand out, long gaze towards the left. Inhale, all the way back up. Any last movements you need before we come into our Shavasana. Taking the legs out long, as wide or wider than the mat, closing down the eyes, hands away from the body, palms facing up. And take some really big inhales. And exhales. Feel all of the tension leaving your body, allowing you to feel heavier and heavier into the ground. All of that energy that we've been using today. Almost feel it coming back into your body, revitalizing you, preparing yourself for whatever else you're doing today.
And if you're ready to come out of your Shavasana, start to wiggle your toes, wiggle your fingers. Bring that movement all the way up into your limbs. Take a really big stretch. Bend up the knees, roll over to one side. And slowly push yourself up to seated. Maybe keeping the eyes closed. Hands onto the thighs, palms facing up. Come back to those nice deep breaths. Go a crown of the head lifting. Take the hands to heart centre, bow the chin to the chest, thumbs to the third eye. Feel so proud of yourself for showing up, for pushing through and setting that intention to bring the energy to this class. And thank you so much for joining me on this journey. Coming to the end of our session, taking the hands away from the eyes and blinking the eyes open whenever you're ready.